who you are? I am. I am. But do you know who you are? Hey, Leo. Welcome to Tea Priestess. I hope that y'all are doing amazing. You know, feeling lovely out here. Um, this is a reading. It could be a continuation of what y'all September 2021 reading was. I remember for y'all, it was like the divine was trying to talk to y'all or something. Something like that. I haven't watched y'all reading. So, I think. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> we'll just see what comes out, Leo. I don't know. We'll see. I hope that maybe y'all are saying yes to the divine now. I think that's what it was. <laughs> like you weren't trying to talk to the divine. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, so the first card is awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. Okay. Second card is no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. I hope that y'all aren't, I don't know. You're, I hope you're not saying no to the awakening and to the new way of being. Or it could be, you could be waiting for the energetic upgrades. And in the waiting time period, you're resting, deep replenishing yourself, uh, being held, you know, just retreating. Because you know that the divine is orchestrating for you with you and you have helpers in the subtle room um and you know that you're dreaming a new world into being uh oh two 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 when i when this card came out okay uh birthing new creations okay so you're waiting on the energetic upgrades the awakening towards this and you know that your guidance is divinely guided and then overall okay is yes yes leo and then under that is break the chain yeah it seems like you're going through maybe somehow some way you you started to say yes and started to listen to the divine so far and now you're on the way to working from a no to a yes, okay? That's what it looked like. Yeah, four of cups. At first you was like, or with this awakening, like you're uh, starting to say no to whatever doesn't fulfill you and doesn't fill your cup up because you're waiting on the awakening, on the energetic upgrades, on the new way of being. And you know that um, people, situations, things that just don't fill your cup up, you know that that is not going to take you towards an awakening. And so because of that, you're you know, you're like, no, this doesn't do what I need it to do for me. So I'm just going to stay over here and you can have your cups over there. I'm not filling your cup up or helping you fill your cup up. Yeah, because you saying no, because look, King of Pentacles come out. You are ready for a whole new beginning. <laughs> like you're waiting for 
uh, yourself to become, become, but also become, um, I'm hearing like rich, become rich, become the king of pentacles that you are in that king of pentacles energy, rich, rich, wealthy, uh, affluent, things like that. Like that's what you're waiting on. And so you're saying no to anything that cannot bring you to the king of pentacles. Okay. Because that's what you're waiting on. You're waiting to get towards the king of pentacles energy. And so you're saying no to anything that is not going to take you that way. Because the king of pentacles is looking that way. Four of cups is looking at them cups that people want you to feel like uh no i don't want that you don't fill my cup up either i was gonna say anymore so you don't fill my cup up anymore um you don't fill my cup up at all and so i you it look it just, it just doesn't work like you have no words because it's like they don't deserve words anymore they don't deserve your energy anymore, basically, because you're looking towards your yes. You're going from a no to a yes. It's taking some steps to get there, but you're going from a no to a yes, and that's what you're looking forward to, going from a no to a yes, okay? Look, Page of Pentacles came out. You are ready for, oh, it's almost like both of these cards are the same. And they not the same, but kind of like, you know, Page of Pentacles, she waiting on her surprise. And then look, she waiting on her deeper punishment. She's just ready to, they're both ready to see what's about to come um, from uncovering their value or from seeing what their value, like pursuing their value, okay? pursuing their value um, has done for them and what it's going to do for them. And this page of Pentacles is like surprise. Like you're waiting. You're waiting to see where the Pentacles are going to come from, what type of, uh, like what type of resources you're about to have. Um, when you're gonna be blessed like because you don't know and it's like she this card is a rest card rest you know retreat be held like she doesn't necessarily know when that's gonna happen but she know it's coming she knows that it's coming and so it's like you know i'm just ready both cards look like they just ready they're just ready for what's coming what's a new Wow. Okay. Yeah, Three of Swords came out um, with Divine Orchestration. Helpers in the Subtle Realm, you have now experienced and you understand. Uh, Three of Swords is a Libra card. Yeah, the Four of Cups is a, a Scorpio card. So you could have told a Scorpio, no, like I'm awakening. I'm working towards awakening. I have to, you know, focus on myself basically with the Four of Cups. And now with this, this is a Libra card. Libra card, yes, and um, it's like you have experienced people have put swords in your back, could be a Libra if you have Libra in your chart, um, or excuse me, this could be a Libra who has put swords in your back, but in your heart, like, but the thing is, yes, they have put 
swords if there's not a libra or you don't have libra in your chart this is just libra energy um you now understand why maybe you could understand why they hurt you okay you could understand why they decided to do the things that they did you have let this go released okay with the rest and retreat you know you have released you've taken time or the yeah the divine has asked you to take time to think about and release um the pain the hurt the things like that so that way you don't have that going into towards your yes okay because you don't need to have this hurt and pain anything like that anymore from these people especially if it is a libra you don't need that okay because you're on the way to birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being like whatever hurt that you had before it does not belong in your new world okay leos it doesn't belong it doesn't belong in your new world and so you have to you know take some time out to uh release yeah so that's a retreating time but okay i'm getting in that time that you're retreating it's like the divine is still going to bless you no matter what because you have been hurt and it's a part of the divine plan divine orchestration like yeah um with this birth a new creation card dreaming a new world into being you have options or you're creating your own options on okay i'm just hearing like things like relationships um jobs events uh all types of just situations products okay things like that y'all are out here um creating options for yourself because you took the time to say no to everything that you did not need and you said yes to yourself and now page of cups is like you're awaiting your emotional fulfillment your um emotional fulfillment that is going to bring blessings because you're emotionally ready for what's coming and you know that your guidance is divinely guided Ooh, okay look with this yes card overall the overall card here is death okay so you literally have went through a process of saying no to people who did not need to be around you anymore um and just like no i'm on the way to becoming a king of pinnacles i'm about to be rich out here <laughs> wealthy things like that and it's like you took time to rest and think about um what the divine where the divine is taking you where the divine is taking you what the divine wants you to do the plan the divine orchestration you thought about uh how people hurt you in all the ways that they have you also let that go or are letting that go um and now you have created options for yourself oh i just saw 14 14 so you're aligned or get becoming in alignment with the divine and because of that you have created options you are going to be out here doing it or out here doing it and creating your a new life a whole new 
experience for yourself a whole new world like you're seeing things totally different than when you saw them before before you said okay i'm gonna choose to go with this awakening and see where god is taking me and then it was like page of cups in the your guidance is divinely guided it's like um you know that the divine is taking you places and doing things in your life and you're like i believe you i trust you divine i'm just ready just let me know what i need to do and because of that the death card is here because you have went became a whole new person and you're about to experience a whole new life a whole new everything because once something is dead it's not coming back it's just not so you have died i've been getting that with a lot of people you have died um and you're no longer the same person who you were before um you said yes to yourself you said no to whatever the fuck you didn't need anymore and you said yes to yourself and because of that you say yes to yourself and yes to the divine. Um, because of that, you have been out here breaking chains, okay? Ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future, creating a whole new world. Like that's what you said, I'm going to do this. I don't know what this look like, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're out here devoting yourself uh, to the divine, um, tuning into the portal of your heart, okay? Like, you're like, yes, divine, I got you. And look, you can play now because you took time to rest. You became a new person. You've ex you're starting to experience this whole new world. Now it's like the divine is like, now you can play. You can uh, have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Don't be so serious. Okay? Because it was all for you and not uh, against you. This is uh, everything is okay card. Everything is okay. That's what you're going to come into knowing and understanding because... Uh, you transformed because you set boundaries with people, situations, whatever. And look, it's all a divine plan. And you trusted your path. And under that is a uh, dance with life. These are all the things that you can now do because you said no. Mm -hmm. because you said no all right let me see what cards come out i added a few new cards to my oracle so we'll see what comes out okay i mean this was on the bottom but i didn't know so okay follow my parade look these people are going to be following you in multiple ways because it's like um, you have become, you're becoming like you, however it is for you in this process, either you're currently becoming or you have become, but either way, they're going to be following your parade, Leos, following your parade. Five is a strong change. And under that is fuck them people, okay? Look, cause it's like, why would you try to stop me from gaining a stronger relationship with the divine or gaining a relationship at all with the divine? Like, why would you try to stop me from doing that? You're weird. Look, you're going to continue to blow your horn, okay? You're going to continue 
to follow the divine and you're not going to stop because you know that the divine fucks with you. This is something that you now know. Maybe you did not know this before, but now you know for sure that the divine fucks with you and you fuck with the divine. 66, peace and harmony on a double level, okay? So it's like you greatly understand that because the divine has came into your life, you allowed this shit to happen. Um, look, came in real quick, like, okay, you know, the divine sometimes just swoop in and be like, look, I'm here. What's up? I'm here. What's up? Talk to me because the divine can do that. Legit. Legit. That's what happened to me. I mean, I've known God in a way. I was a Christian for a long time. Kind of. I don't know. That was weird. It was weird growing up. But I was real active in church and stuff. Um, yeah. Like, I probably... I, I felt the Holy Spirit or whatever. Like, a few times. Because I, I was a praise dancer. I think maybe one time when I was... I was in the choir. I did a lot of stuff in the church, okay? But, like, I... I've probably felt the Holy Spirit like a couple times in like fucking 18 years or so, 17 years of being like an active Christian. Um, but it's like, I would always, you know, like every Sunday, you know, you see them people that run around the church and I'm like, I would always get so confused. Like, how are you, is God, <laughs> okay, is God really touching you that much? Like, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to talk about, because, you know, people are still Christians, and, you know, they love Christian God. It's God, I guess. I don't know. Because it's just like certain things. It's just like, God don't do that. God don't want that. So whatever you want to believe, that's what you want to believe. I'm no longer a Christian. I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I was about to call something else, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. I mean, I was gonna call it bullshit. Okay. I mean, it's not all bullshit, but it's just like it's very judgmental. Very judgmental. Very judgmental. The people within the I mean, I feel like the whole religion as a whole is pretty judgmental whatever i mean it's done a lot of things i mean like out here in the world like it's like just very judgmental like people think that they're god because they're christian okay i don't know one came out <laughs> i don't know why i needed to say all that but sure so it's like you know maybe you're discovering um Maybe you had to say no to like something like that, you know, like, like your past religion or past beliefs in God. Maybe that's something that you had to give up and go through because you were looking at whatever religion, whatever religion that, that you have subscribed to or just like religion as a whole. Um, you know, it's like, now you're like, you said no to religion. Okay. You said no to religion. That's why fuck them people is out here. Okay. Because God, yeah, God, with this awakening, God swooped the fuck in and was like, you going to get to know me, but you're going to get to know me in a new way. I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to show you how I can be and who you who you can be. Look, with this uh, King of Pentacles, who you can be if you truly get to know me. Okay? 
and that's why the death look under that is the world your world is changing the divine changed your whole world you were confused about religion out here leo okay that's it you were confused you you were like i don't really know if i fuck with them people like that because it's just not working i don't the people just don't it just doesn't like the whole religion as a whole but also the people who subscribe to the religion it's just like like what's wrong with y'all in a way like what's wrong with y'all and so y'all was like okay no i'm not doing this and then you said look y'all can uh stab these swords in my heart y'all can talk shit about me y'all can do all of these things against me to me against me whatever but it's like divine orchestration divine orchestration and you gonna continue to blow your horn and then the divine oh is just taking over look i know i be talking about like like it's happening like right now this might not literally be happening right now this could be about to happen or uh it already happened but I'm just, this is how it be coming out, okay? Like it is happening like right now. It could literally be happening right now. Um, and like the divine is asking you to awaken now. And this is what is going to happen in whatever way. But it's like you let go of this thought, these, these mindsets. Shit, I'm getting, for me, I call it brainwashing. In a way, because it's like, I mean, looking at this card, it's like religion, depending on what it is. Um, you know, like they place a lot of swords in your mind. So like a lot of thoughts, a lot of mindsets, a lot of things inside of you that is like, it places judgment on your own self. <sighs> Sometimes these religions, they place make you place judgment on your own self. So many types of religions are going through my head right now. Okay, not just Christian, not just Christian, but I mean right now, ooh, okay, I guess. Uh, Afghanistan, the Taliban, that's a whole religion who has now taken over a whole country. And it's like, they place uh, fucking thoughts, mindsets, all types of shit inside your head and want you to, because of religion, judge people, force people to do things that they, they shouldn't even be doing. Ugh. Like little girls, little girls, they want little girls over there to marry into uh with men old ass men and it's like why would y'all continue to want to do things like that force women to hide their bodies and like place these uh like sexual because that's what it is it's like all these religions look like, most of these religions most if not all place a lot of uh sexual it's like a sexual, I'm not getting the word, but it's like sexual, sexual whatever onto women. And they want women to hide themselves. And then these, the men within the religions, they just can do whatever the fuck they want. They can just do whatever the fuck they want because they're men. And it's like, what? But the woman, she got to close her legs. She can't wear certain things like wearing something like this is just a no-no i mean like when i was growing up when i grew up i was not allowed to do it like i was made because of religion i was made to like basically hate my body 
in so many ways. I couldn't wear certain things, even inside the house. Like what? Like it's just so much. It's just like because of religion, they have, they place all of these thoughts and mindsets and things inside your head and they spread that shit. And they spread it as if it's okay. They spread it as if it's doing something. Like God really wants that. And so y'all have broken out of that or y'all are breaking out of that, Leos. You're like, no, this is not okay. Look, and that's why the death card, you are letting all that shit go. You're experiencing God in a way where God wants you to express, express yourself and also uh, get to know God through love, which is a whole new world for you because these religions don't spread love in the way that God is love. They spread hate. Ugh. They spread hate. They spread like, it's just like vile things. They kill people behind religion. God really wants that? No. No. So it's like, that's what you said yes to. You said, I'm going to say yes to you, God. And I'm going to get rid of all of this shit that I don't need anymore. And God said, look, at the beginning, whenever this starts to happen for you, and God going to rush in and come in, or has already came in and rushed in, and like, look, follow my parade. I will awaken you and show you who I am. I will awaken you and show you who I am. And you gonna be like, wow. So much is just going to, I'm here, like expel from you. You are expelling mindsets. You are expelling thoughts about yourself, about who God is. Okay. You get high so high, I just saw that. Okay, look, God said, I will show you who you are, who you can be if you truly fuck with me. And it's like, you said yes. Creating a new world. You have options. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, everything, look, whoa, yes. Um religion i mean a lot of religion is coming up religion uh things all of the mindsets things like that it's back there it's not coming back you are a whole new person with this death card you're experiencing a whole new world with the world card like you got basically two two world cards okay okay leos you are letting go of all that shit is back the fuck there that religion shit the hating of people because you're in a religion and even though you're in a religion you still hate the people that's a part of your religion you hate people because you in this one religion you hate them other people because they in a different religion that's stupid it's stupid you're letting it go. It's gone. It's done. It's back the fuck there. Shit. I think this that's it is a confirmation for me, but also for y'all. Like, that's it. Like, the religion thing. That's it. That's what the divine through this message is getting y'all to understand and know. And also that... uh you have died and you're going into a new world and so it's like once you get there oh once you get there to the new world to understanding yourself in a new way to looking at god and understanding god in a new way you're gonna be like wow 
That's it. Like, this is it. This is it. Not whatever the fuck in the way that I shit grew up thinking, had to think, was forced to think, whatever, for however long. Like, it's leaving you, okay? And you're going to be like, that's it. That's God. That is who God is. That God is not who that was. That was fake God. People were <laughs> feeding me fake God. That's not real God. They out here playing God. That's what these people out here doing. I'm going to get to know God. You can be like, that's God. Oh, okay. You could also have, uh, I can't even talk right now, cancer in your chart, okay? And you're going to know, look, everything is for a reason. Once you get to the point of understanding who God is, can't nobody disturb. You can't see this. I'm not going to show because it's light. But it's like, do not disturb. They cannot disturb your newfound way of understanding God. It's just like a no. Like, it's un, un, undisturbable. I know that's not a word, but shit, I'm going to say it. Because that's all that's coming. It's undisturbable. <laughs> it's undisturbable. <laughs> shit, I, that's not a word, but shit. Look, I mean, it's cooking up. Okay. Okay. So this is confirmation. Also, this is going to be happening for y'all. So this might not be happening yet. This might be starting right now. And, you know, God is about to be taking you through this journey to your yes to get to know God for who God is for real. Not with all them religion filters religion filters you are releasing the filters of religion oh that's it okay releasing the filters of religion the lover's card came out i saw a gemini card earlier this is a gemini i mean yeah gemini popped out and i saw this i'm getting it mixed up i saw gemini earlier when i was just shuffling but it didn't come out and this is a gemini card okay so the lovers so it's like um you're going to find and understand god in a whole new way and you're gonna be like this is what love is god is really love yes god is love look them the chains you fucking breaking oh my gosh these are the chains you are breaking. You are breaking the chains of religion. Oh my gosh. That's it. That is it. What's this card? Oh. Mm. Look, the tower was just up in here. But like, like, uh, oh shit. Like this like this this is the only card up in here that's like this and i was like what's that okay let me look a whole ass fucking tower not only is it a it's a it's a it's in the middle so it's like the divine is going to blow your fucking mind blow your mind blow your mind about religion blow your mind about who you were before within religion who people were within religion all things religion and then blow your mind in the way that god is going to show you just how much god loves you and god is love god is not anything else that these people want you to think or wanted you to think through the lens of religion wow and that's just up in there look and then two of wands you make that decision or you're making that decision to go this new way to follow this new path 
and you're about to see and uncover, ooh, excuse me, the love. That's a way I channel. And it's just a spiritual thing. It's whatever. Um, <laughs> Cause I don't want to explain it, but it is something. Um, yeah, you decided to do this shit. That's it. You said, why not? Because I don't, that's okay. Yeah, cause the 2020, September 2021 reading for y'all Leos was, and I know this is long, but it's like, you know, God be telling me to, not telling me, but you know, getting me to the point, but it takes some time. Look, okay, that's also it. It, take, it took some time. It's also going to take some time to get to the yes. But once you get there, you're going to understand, okay? You're going to understand exactly who God is, exactly what God is about, and just everything about God. And you're going to be like, yes, that's it. So yes, it's going to take some time, okay? But be patient. And also know that you are causing towers. You might be causing towers. Well, yes, fuck them people. You're going to be causing towers against people. Okay? You're going to be causing... Because you taking a break from... Or it's dead. You're deading all of the religion shit. Because, whatever. If you're religious and, you know, that's what you are... I can't knock you. I'm just saying, I, well, I already said what I said, and that's just it. I said what I said. I was a religious person before in the past. Like, grew up knowing the books of the Bible, like, participating in Sunday school, participating in summer, like, summer of, of vacation Bible schools and participating in all that stuff like i have been there done that trust me and it's like no <laughs> no look the crumbling no it's just a no it's just like that's what y'all doing it's a no it's back there you don't need that because the religion that religion is not going to get you towards king of pentacles where you are wealthy not just in money but also just wealthy in resources wealthy in people around you wealthy in abundance wealthy in god's love real love you're not going to get there if you're focused on the constraints of religion because religion places constraints on you so many constraints from the way that you dress to the way that you have to do your hair to the way that you have to speak to the way that you have to present yourself to like the way that you have to think to the way that you have to everything you're not going to get there if you constrain yourself. God is removing all of the constraints. you breaking the chain. It is done. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And look, by the end, you're going to be like, in me, on me, dripped in God, okay? Hey, I got God on my side. And you're going to know for sure who God is, what God is, and know that God is right here, no matter what, in a whole different way. Okay, this is coming out. Religion also, most of the time, they want you to externally get God from outside of yourself. God has swooped in or is swooping in and saying, no, I'm in here. I'm in here. I send you things through here. I'm here. I'm not out there. 
God, you better speak, okay? I'm out there. I mean, sorry. I'm in here. Look, four, 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 four. Four, 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 four. I'm in here. I'm not out there. You cannot find me out there. <sighs> There's so many pastors. There's so many um, people. Yes, you should get, you know, blessings and things like that for your talents and for your gifts, especially coming from God. And yes, you know, God will bless. However, people want you to praise them and come after them like you have to come to them for a word. Like you have to come to them to understand and know God. And it's like, no, that's why I like, okay, well, I guess I'm coming to the end now because now I'm getting on, um, like if you, if the, if you want to book a reading with me, um, you have to talk with the divine because I don't want that type of thing. And I don't want, that's not something that I want. God asked me to do this. And so God is going to bless me, but I don't need to gain that blessing from people outside of God. God will, if if the blessings have to come from people, then yes, God will find a way to bless me through people. But me just like, you have to get a reading from me. You have to come watch my videos. If you don't never watch a video ever again, I am so fine. I'm happy that I was able to give you this one message because it came from the divine. Okay? And I know this. And so it's like that's who that's who I am and that's what I do. And in my observation of all the religion, I've watched so many pastors, so many preachers. They want you to always come to them as if they're God. And that's not it just don't work like that. It don't. God don't work like that. So y'all are uncovering, y'all are discovering, y'all are getting to know this in your way. Because you know it could be different for you. Whatever way is different, you know. But God is swooping in and saying, follow me. I know that. God is swooping in and saying, follow me and showing you that whatever you have been taught to believe in some way, shape, and form that ain't gonna get you to where you where you think you gonna go it's just not it's not gonna get you there i'm gonna show you how you gonna get there and i'm gonna take you through this journey but you gotta fuck with me and you have to get like basically die and become a whole new person because otherwise it's not gonna happen you have to say yes you have to Go with this tower of losing religion, becoming a new person away from the religion and the religion, the the thoughts and mindsets that you have been indoctrinated to believe. Whew. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, I put it in here already. The reading, you know, ask the divine. It'll be in the description box or whatever. It's in the about section. Um, also, if it's not there, if I don't put it there, but I should. It's in the description or the pinned comment section. Look at one of them. But that's if the divine tells you it's okay to book. Okay, make sure you please read. You know, if we don't never, if you don't never come to a video again, I'm happy that I could bring this message to you. I know it evolved over time, but that's how the divine gives me my messages. Okay? I don't I literally don't be knowing what's gonna come out, but then once it evolves, it somehow becomes a whole a whole thing. And it's like, you know, that's how the divine gives it to me. So, you know.
you're gonna know what's up throughout the reading but it's gonna be when the divine oh when the divine say okay now let's put it all together now let's let's uh let's fuck their heads up real quick <laughs> i mean in a way yeah so um yeah all right leos this was interesting it was a lot but you know you letting go of that shit i just i feel like i just released the whole lot like me some i'm in y'all energy so y'all gonna be feeling like a big release a big release because the thoughts is just no longer there mm -hmm. okay well i love y'all leos and i hope this was helpful um you know come back all right bye y'all